Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a video on how to get Call of Duty Warzone to stop crashing on you. So whether you're using an NVIDIA card or an AMD video card, this method is going to stop your game from crashing. Now, me personally, I've owned about four video cards within the past month, and I've had crashing with specific crashes. They're either Dev Air 6028, or Dev Air 6038, 50 something, so and so. I have pretty much have had every single crash out there. And I tried every single fix that anyone pretty much recommended on the internet, on Reddit. I checked everywhere. I tried uninstalling and reinstalling my game. Nothing really worked, except for this, of course. Anyway, so I'm going to give you guys the method that worked for me and continues to work for me. Now, obviously, I still do get some random, and I say very random crashes, but it's not like what it was before. It's nothing like what it was before. So before I got crashes every five minutes or any time my computer pretty much overheated, now I'll get a crash every three, four hours, and maybe not even then. I can be playing it for hours straight. So let me quickly tell you what I do. I basically updated my BIOS. So if you're using a MSI motherboard or AS Rock motherboard, or if you're using a Gigabyte motherboard, you want to head on over to the Gigabyte website, or regardless of whichever motherboard you're using, go search for the latest update on your BIOS on your motherboard. And trust me guys, as ridiculous that it sounds, this will stop the game from crashing. I currently own the Radeon 5700 XT Ultra Thick 3, and before that I've owned the 2070S, before that I've owned the 2060S, and I've also owned the 1060. So with the 1060, I was getting seldom crashes. I was still crashing every hour or so. With the 1060S, I was continuously crashing. And with the 1070S, uh, sorry, with the 2070S and the 2060S, I kept crashing. After I updated the BIOS, I stopped crashing like I was crashing before. Now, again, it's very seldom. It happens every few hours or it just won't happen. I've tested this so far for a day and a half already. And I can't even tell you guys how often I was crashing before. It was ridiculous. Even with the 5700 XT Ultra Thick 3, I just kept crashing over and over again. So anyway, you want to go ahead, update your BIOS to the latest version and make sure that the game folder is also on the same drive as your operating system. So if Windows 10 is installed on drive C, make sure the game is installed on drive C as well. If you need to move it, go ahead and just copy over the folder from your existing drive to the drive that your operating system is on. So if your operating system is on drive C, you want to go ahead and drop it in the program file. So it would be C, program files 86, and then you can just drop the folder in there. Make sure to copy it and then paste it, this way you still have a backup. So guys, this is going to fix those dev errors that you're having. You're still gonna seldomly get them. This is just the way that the game was designed, very poor design, but again, this will fix those issues. Trust me guys, I've been there. It's very, very frustrating, but once you get this fixed, once you update your BIOS, all these issues should be fixed. So guys, try this out. And if it worked for you, if it works for you, please do give this video a like. I would like to spread this message since there was no fix that I could find online that worked for me besides for this one. Again, so update your BIOS version. If you need to find out how to update your BIOS, go ahead and just Google search it. There are so many people out there that show you tutorials on how to update your BIOS. I really won't show you because it's just, I have a different motherboard, so I don't know if it's really relative to you but you're probably gonna need to have an external hard drive device or flash drive in order to update your BIOS. But yeah, find your way, find how to do it, download the latest drivers, and also download the latest video card drivers too. But first, the BIOS guys. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please do leave a like, and if it didn't, leave a dislike. I just really wanna know if this video did help you out. So that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.